Welcome to our journey through the history of communication. From the very beginnings of human history, the need to share information has been as vital to our survival as the need for food or shelter. From ancient messengers to the rise of artificial intelligence, we'll explore how humans have connected over the centuries. The methods have changed, the technology has evolved, but the driving force remains the same. To bridge the gaps between us and share our experiences, our knowledge and our dreams. Imagine a time before telephones, before radio, before even the written word was commonplace. Communication was a challenge and the methods were rudimentary. How would you send an urgent message across vast distances? The answer lay in the endurance and determination of human messengers. For millennia, the answer was simple, another human being. These messengers were the lifeline of communication. In the cradle of civilization, runners and riders traversed harsh landscapes carrying scrolls and pronouncements that could dictate the fate of empires. Their journeys were perilous yet vital. In ancient Greece, runners, their lungs burning, relayed news of victory from Marathon. This feat of endurance became legendary. The Persian Empire, stretching from Egypt to India, relied on a vast network of mounted couriers for communication across its sprawling domain. These couriers were the backbone of the empire's communication. These individuals were the original communication network, their speed and stamina crucial in a world where information moved at the pace of a man on foot or horseback. They connected empires, relayed critical information and ensured that messages reached their destinations. As empires rose and technologies advanced, a new kind of messenger took to the skies, the humble pigeon. These birds, often overlooked, became essential in bridging distances that seemed insurmountable. Possessing an uncanny ability to find their way home over vast distances, pigeons were bred and trained for a vital task, carrying messages. Their homing instinct, combined with rigorous training, made them reliable messengers in times of need. From the battlefields of ancient Rome to the bustling cities of medieval Europe, these feathered couriers played a crucial role in communication. They were often the fastest and most dependable means of sending important information across great distances. During the Franco-Prussian War, besieged Parisians famously used pigeons to transmit messages beyond enemy lines. Their tiny messages a lifeline to the outside world. These birds carried hope and vital information often risking their lives in the process. Even today, in a world of instant communication, the legacy of the pigeon post endures. Modern pigeon racing and urban pigeon enthusiasts keep the tradition alive, a testament to the ingenuity of both birds and their human handlers. The story of the pigeon post is a remarkable chapter in the history of communication. The 17th century saw a revolution in communication with the advent of the printing press. No longer were messages painstakingly copied by hand, limited to a privileged few. Now, information could be reproduced quickly and cheaply, spreading like wildfire through society. Newspapers sprung up, carrying news of the world to an eager public. The impact was profound. Literacy rates soared, ideas spread rapidly, and public discourse flourished. The printing press democratized knowledge, empowering individuals and shaping the course of history. Chapter 4, A Spark Across the Wires, The Telegraph. In the 19th century, a new era of instant communication dawned with the invention of the telegraph. No longer were we limited by the speed of travel. Now messages could be sent across continents in a matter of minutes, carried by a network of wires and encoded in the rhythmic clicks of Morse code. The world shrunk, distance became less of a barrier and the pace of life accelerated. Business transactions, news reports, even personal messages, all flowed along this new electronic nervous system, transforming commerce, journalism, and human connection. Chapter five, voices through the air, the golden age of radio. Imagine a world without television, without the internet. For the first time, families gathered around a new kind of hearth, the radio. From the crackling static emerged music, news, and stories that captivated the imagination. The world tuned in to hear presidents speak, to laugh along with comedians, to be transported by the magic of radio drama. 
It was a shared experience, a communal campfire around which the world huddled, united by the invisible waves of sound. Chapter 6. A Window to the World, The Rise of Television. In the aftermath of World War II, a new medium emerged that would transform our living rooms into windows to the world television. This revolutionary device quickly became a staple in households, changing the way we consumed information and entertainment. Moving pictures flickered across screens, bringing news events, entertainment and cultural icons directly into our homes. Families gathered around their sets, captivated by the magic of moving images and the stories they told. We watched in awe as Neil Armstrong took his first steps on the moon, a moment that united millions in shared wonder and pride. As historical events unfolded before our eyes, television became a crucial medium for witnessing history in real time, making distant events feel immediate and personal. The world of sports and entertainment came alive in vibrant color, adding a new dimension to our viewing experience and making every game and show more immersive. Television became a powerful force, shaping our perceptions, influencing our culture, and connecting us to global events like never before. It bridged gaps between communities, brought diverse perspectives into our homes, and became an integral part of our daily lives, forever changing the way we see the world. Chapter 7. Reaching for the Stars. Satellite Communication. The launch of Sputnik in 1957 marked the beginning of the space age and ushered in a new era of communication, the satellite age. High above Earth, these technological marvels relayed signals across continents and oceans, shrinking our planet once more. Live television broadcasts from across the globe became commonplace. Phone calls could be made to virtually anywhere. The world, once fragmented by distance, was becoming increasingly interconnected, bound together by a constellation of satellites orbiting silently overhead. Chapter 8. A Web of Information. The Birth of the Internet. From its humble beginnings as a network connecting research institutions, the Internet has exploded into a global phenomenon, transforming the way we communicate, learn, work and play. The birth of the World Wide Web in the early 1990s provided a user-friendly interface for this vast network, making information accessible to anyone with a computer and a modem. Email connected people across continents instantaneously. Websites sprung up, offering everything from news and entertainment to shopping and social networking. The information age had truly begun. Remember the days of bulky car phones and pages? The advent of mobile phones and later smartphones revolutionized communication once again. No longer were we tethered to our desks or homes. Communication became mobile, instant, and always accessible. The world began to fit in our pockets. Text messaging, social media, and video calls became the norm, connecting us in ways we could only have imagined a few decades earlier. The mobile revolution has transformed not just how we communicate, but how we live, work, and interact with the world around us. The 21st century has witnessed the meteoric rise of social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. These online communities have connected billions of people worldwide, allowing us to share our thoughts, experiences and ideas with a global audience. Social media has become a powerful tool for social movements, for political activism, for marketing and for simply staying in touch with friends and family. It has reshaped our social fabric, creating new forms of community, activism and even commerce. However, this new world of connectivity also presents challenges from issues of privacy and misinformation to the potential for online echo chambers and cyberbullying. As we stand on the cusp of a new era, artificial intelligence is poised to revolutionize communication once again. From chatbots that provide instant customer service to virtual assistants that manage our schedules and smart homes that respond to our voice commands, AI is becoming increasingly integrated into our daily lives. The future holds even more transformative possibilities, real-time language translation, personalized news feeds, and even AI-powered companions that can hold conversations, provide companionship, and learn our preferences. The line between human and machine communication is blurring opening up exciting and uncharted territory in the evolution of how we connect. 
Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey through the history of communication. From the ancient messengers to the rise of artificial intelligence, we've seen how the human desire to connect has driven innovation and shaped our world. As technology continues to evolve at an unprecedented pace, one thing remains certain. The need to communicate, to share and to connect will continue to be a fundamental aspect of what it means to be human. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insightful content.